grade 4. You should have finished exercise 7F over the weekend. Nobody has asked me except Suhani for any help. So that means you've understood it. Let's look at proper and improper fractions. What are they? A fraction with the numerator smaller than the denominator is called a proper fraction. It's always greater than zero, but it will be less than one. <clears throat> the numerator smaller than the denominator. The numerator smaller than the denominator. The numerator smaller than the denominator. Okay, these are called proper fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. What are improper fractions? Well, they are fractions where the numerator is larger or equal to the denominator. Let's have some examples here. The numerator larger than or equal to. So larger than or equal to, this one would also be an improper fraction. Let's do some more. The numerator larger than or equal to, there we go, larger than, equal to, larger than. Okay, I would like you to write these definitions with different examples for proper fractions and improper fractions in your notebooks, please. Once you have done that, let's look at the idea of a mixed number. What is a mixed number? Well, it's nothing more than a whole number and a fraction together. One and a half boxes of sweets. Three and a half rotis. These are mixed numbers. One whole and then a fraction. These are mixed numbers. You may write that definition. A mixed number has a whole number and a fraction. And then give me different examples. Once you have done that, let's see how we can convert. It just means change an improper fraction into a mixed number. Let's take a look at this. It is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. How would we do this? Step 1. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Divide 14 by 3. Here it is. 3 does not go into 1. 3 fours are 12. We have 2 as a remainder. Step 2. Write the quotient as the whole number. So we have 4 wholes. And then write the remainder over the divisor in the form of a fraction. What this means is when you divide 14 by 3, you get 4 holes, but you still have a remainder 2, which you actually still needed to divide by 3, right? So, you have 4 holes, and then you still have the remainder 2, which you say it still needs to be divided, it's still parts of 3. And that's how they've done it. I would like you to do, look at example 2, let's do it together. 12 upon 6, improper fraction. Well, it's very easy to do it because 12 divided by 6 gives us 2, so the answer is just 2 holes.